welcome back to my channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can always receive alerts when I upload new videos and live streams and give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey planner fam, so welcome to my 2019 planner lineup. Yes, you see it, I have five planners. Three are happy planners and two are standard size traveler's notebooks. And one probably wants to know, one, why do I have to have so many planners? Why do I have to have so many different types of planners? And how am I gonna be able to use all of these planners for 2019? So if you wanna see how I use each one of these planners, stick around. So this first planner is a custom-made planner by um, Le Cinq Oats. The owner is Tiffany. And this is a leather traveler's notebook, hand cut, hand painted. And it has handmade everything. And I have my nice little name vinyl from Tarshell B. But let's get into what I'm gonna do with this planner. So I've been kind of trying to figure out what planners I wanna use for 2019. I wanted to try to use some things that were different um, because I wanna be able to see exactly what works for me. All last year, well, we're still in last year, but by the time you see this video, it should be last year. <laughs> but anyway, so I used All Happy Planner. I did start off with an Erin Condren, but I was 2018 straight up Happy Planner girl. And I like the functionality of a Happy Planner because it's disbound and I can be able to move things up around and about how I wanted to. So I started researching about Traveler's Notebooks and I really liked that it almost gave you a scrapbooking and planner feel to it. Um, and it also somewhat similar to how a disbalance system in, you can take your inserts in and out. So let's kind of go through and see what I have in here. So this particular travels notebook will be my memory keeping one. And the reason why I decided to make this a memory keeping because it won't be used every day and I don't have to take it with me all the time. And this will be a way for me to document family birthdays, vacations, special events, or anything that I do with my planner group. So I have a couple of inserts. I have one that I've already started. This one is more of my family insert. Um, then this one will probably be more towards travel. So anytime I go out of the country or the state, I can you know put pictures in this one. And then this third one right here, this one will be to document any like planner events that I go to or do and to put some pictures throughout there. And I do plan on adding a fourth insert and that one I may use just for like birthdays and milestones. So that is what I am using this standard size TN4 for 2019. So this travels notebook right here will be my EDC which is my everyday carry. Everyone know that I was everything mini planner um, for 2018. And my mini planner was my catch all in which typically we call most of the spiral or disbound planners catch alls because that's where everything that I needed to keep track of was in. And that was a planner that I took with me everywhere. So what I've been learning in my education self-educating myself um, with travels notebooks most everyone calls this an edc an everyday carry so most of y'all know that um basically the guts of my travels notebook is baby um, she did start out in the purple travels notebook which was a standard side custom made but as i started building it and figuring out what it out what i wanted to use it for it got a little chunky and it had some overlay or overlapping which is basically the inserts popping out over the um, the traveler's notebook. So I decided to switch the size of my traveler's notebook to a, now don't judge me because I'm still trying to get the names right, but it's called a Kaye, which is spelled C-A-H-I-E-R, I believe. Um, it is similar to a standard size, but it's just a little bit wider and a little bit longer in length. But how am I gonna use this? This is, as my planner says, Lisa Max says, my main thing. This is gonna have everything that I need to keep 
my personal life in order. So let's just open it up to see the inserts. Now I have done like a setup in this already, but this won't be my actual setup for January. Um, but I took some things out because I'm in the process of trying to set it up for January. But anyway, so I have a dashboard cover that I created. It is reusable that I made out of laminate and I do have a video on my page showing that. And all I took was some cardstock paper, cut it to size and stuck a die cut in the inside. And this is the back. So anyway, this is just a flip through of how I'm using it right now. I will do another flip through of the setup and all of those good things. So this insert is my monthly and I made, I put, made this cover and put it on here. And as you can see, I kind of get some stuff in here now. So this will be my monthly. This will where it will be my command center, my central location to document all important dates. So I can be able to then transfer them over to my weekly section. And these two inserts I got from Paper Penguin. So I have three months worth of the weekly calendars. And I do have dashboard, I mean, bookmarks that were made from my friend Tiffany. So with the weekly, it is similar to a vertical mini layout. Um, so for those that were thinking that they, you know, may not see any mini planner plan with me's, don't be alarmed. This will still give you that mini planner feel because of how the layout is. It has Monday through Thursday over here and Friday through Saturday with this section, which is exactly how the mini happy planner is set up. Um, and so you can use all of the little tips and tricks that I do on my TN and convert them over to your mini. So don't feel like I'm leaving you guys out. Cause I do love a mini, but this travels notebook is speaking to my soul. <laughs> so the next section is where I will be tracking my fitness. And this is an undated insert. And I like that because some weeks, you know, you just don't feel like working out. So I won't have so many pages that I'll be wasting if I don't use them. Um, so what I plan on doing is this will be, this is almost like the dashboard layout in the mini happy planner. So again, I'm still staying true to my roots, which are happy planner ish layouts, but it's just going to be in my TN. So again, whatever I do in here, you can also do in your mini. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to use the sides whether or not I might do like what my meals may be or um, the specific workouts I do on that day and then over here track my progress, like how many calories I burn and things like that. I definitely like the tracker over here because I can specify whether I'm tracking water, my um, sleep patterns, whatever that's associated to my health and my whole physical well-being will be tracked in this section. And this to-do is very important because you know, when you're working out, you want specific things that you want to do. Like I might want to work on my legs and my thighs and everybody want to work on the gluteus maximus. So, <laughs> you know, you get the drift. So then the last one back here, this is kind of like my note brain dump section. And I'll just come back here and jot little things on sticky notes and then just stick my sticky notes throughout the pages and so forth and forth so forth and so on and the reason why I want to do sticky notes versus just writing them out or bullet point um, I got the idea from uh, I want to say it was um, Honey Bee Shop on her um, one of her videos she was like you know we have all these cute sticky notes and after we check stuff off we throw them away but it's a great way to keep a track of the things that you want to do so if you go back and you forget like what did I do two weeks ago you have it right here in your sticky note or brain dump section. So this is my EDC, which is my traveler's notebook. So my third planner is my budget planner. And I told y'all I would still have a mini. Now I know what I'm using it for, but I'm still trying to figure out which layout I might actually use. So what I actually did was I purchased a cover from um, Golden Plans Co. She did a collaboration and I figured when you're trying to maintain your budget, you're trying to be a boss. You're trying to make sure you just, 
get them coins right so you can be a boss babe so i thought this cover was really cute um so let me take this out i don't know why that was in there so what i did i mean i have some little inserts and stuff that i made but i did get the ex um, budget mini expansion pack and as you can see i just have like the first six months of the year in here and this is undated so you do have to date it so you have your um on my monthly view this is where i will put what bills are due on what day and i'll use the stickers that i got from shea budgets and just to kind of show y'all how well these stickers stick in there let's see i mean look how perfect they fit so if you have a mini budget planner and you want stickers that's going to fit inside the monthly boxes I'm not saying this because she's my friend. Please go order from Shea Budgets. So this is where I will keep all my monthly stuff. And I'm going to track all of my expenses and my bills here. Now I do have the budget kit from Shea. So I might switch it out on some months, months and just use the kit to do all of my tracking. Now what I did add into this was the mom layout. And I added this layout because... When I'm paying my bills, I want to still be able to, you know, jot down certain things on those days or like, you know, just to be able to track it versus just writing it in a space. Because I feel like the more you write something, the more you remember it. And I like on here because it says pay um, bills to pay. And then here I will probably change like the errands and the call but to buy is very important because in your budget what are you buying for that day or that week so i can put here you know what i need to buy and what i need to focus on for my financial goals for that week as well as any phone calls or emails that i may need to check in regards to my bills and then over here is just more detail if necessary so this is how i'll be using my mini again it's not an actual mini planner from Happy Planner. I just kind of put together um, some inserts to make my own budget planner. Because nobody said that you can't customize your own planner. Especially if you have not found planner piece, you might just need to just make your own planner the way it's gonna work for you. So this beauty right here, again, I'm so in love with getting custom covers because a lot of times you get planners and the covers you, you're not really feeling so you ended up flipping them inside out or putting stickers on them trying to make a cover that's just right for you. So this one is also again from Golden Plans Co. And um, I got it custom with my name on here. And this classic vertical is going to be my business and social media planner. Now, I just recently got a little bit of unplanner piece when it came to my um, business and social media planner. Um, so I don't know, I might be switching things up. I might be using this as just my strictly business planner where I track all of my business things and my um, business finances and I might add another planner to the lineup strictly for social media but we'll see how it goes so just to kind of show you what it looks like you have your monthly view and this will just be on here if i need to document any classes that i need to take in regards to my business or visits to the tax person marketing or when i need to pay my website um, i like to keep my business funds separate from my personal it just makes it easier that way and then this is a vertical layout. Um, so I will just use probably like icon stickers to designate what, you know, business I need to focus on on that day or what YouTube posts I need to focus on on that day. But right now, this is what I'm going to be using. Um, and I will also still continue to track my analytics. And I'll use this section here to track my analytics. So this is my business and my social media planner, which will stay at home so this is not another planner that i have to worry about lugging around right now the only planner that will go with me is my edc travels notebook and maybe from time to time my budget mini
And then lastly, I'm bringing back the faith planner. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did start pretty hard in my faith planner in 2018, but I kind of fell off at the end of the year because I started to, other planners started to take, I'm not gonna say priority, but I was trying to figure out other ways to use my planners in other capacities. Um, so when it came to doing my plan with me's in my faith planner, I didn't do a lot of those, but I will be going back to doing my plan with me's because I will be incorporating this in my ministry page, which is her testimony. And if you're not following it, make sure you click the link that will take you directly to my website in which I have podcasts and all of those things that are faith based, but back to the planner. So this is a classic happy planner. And this is actually the front cover that I switched in um, inside out because I really wasn't a fan of this cover. I really, really love the old cover that I have, the Grace Upon Grace, but I didn't want to use that because I'm using that planner for something else in which I actually probably could say I have six planners in my lineup, but my other faith planner, I'm just using it for notes when I go to church. So... I didn't really technically include it in my lineup. But anyway, so as you can see, this is my faith planner. It is horizontal, and I love a horizontal planner because it gives you more space to write in. And just to show you how I will use this for 2019, because I believe it's very important that I share how I'm going to use this. So these are the soap no note paper, and this is where you write. Um, soap basically stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And then you have the note paper here and then the note paper here. So the way I'm going to use it, I'm going to use this part for my monthly scripture. So for the scripture that I want to lean on for the month, I'll write here. And then what I've observed, like keywords and things like that, that st stick out. And then how I can apply this scripture to my life for the, that month and prayers that I want to um, pray daily for that month in reference to the scripture. And so then here, typically what I do is if I have a reading plan, I will put each day what Bible verse and chap what chapter and Bible verse that I'm reading on the days. And then on the weekly, I will put my notes from that reading plan. So the weekly section will be for specific reading plans um, that I do throughout the weeks in each month. And, um, you know, I'm, I don't have, I'm not gonna say I don't have planner piece with my faith planner. I'm a very neutral planner. So having all of the different colors like this each month, it does, bother me however i always use washi in my faith planners when i do my spreads because washi gives it a decorative look without taking away a lot of your white space so we'll see how this is going to work out so i'll definitely be using a lot of washi again in 2019 in my faith planner okay so here is my lineup for 2019. As most of you know, how us planner babes get down, that can always change up. Um, you know, but I, for me personally, I'd rather be the guinea pig, messing around with a lot of different planners so I can give you tips and tricks on how to decide what planners to use so you won't have to spend all your coins like I do when it comes to buying planners. But I am super excited. This 2019 will be my first full year of being in the planner game. Um, I started, I call it creative or decorative planning um, back in February of this year. So it'll be nice to celebrate a couple of anniversaries. And I know y'all can see my little glare because of my lighting. But um, it's exciting to see how far I've came from February 2019 to 2018 to January of 2019. Um, 
you know i'm happy with my picks like i said i don't have complete peace with some of the items but i have enough peace to still fully use them and fully fun you know in a functional way um i'm really in love with traveling notebooks who knows you may see a new addition in my lineup um but you gotta stick around and watch my channel to find out so if you haven't subscribed make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and like i said who knows another planner might pop up or replace one of these beautiful planners in this lineup so if you want to see if that happens that notification bell will let you know um, but as well um, also make sure you check the description box out there are lots of links with discount codes um, links to my Amazon shop that has some of my favorite things and some of the items that I use on a daily basis or when I'm recording so make sure you get a chance to scroll through that description box so you can get some information um, that I wanted to share with you guys. So other than that, if this has inspired you to get your 2019 planner lineup all set up and ready to go, cause we, you know, it's here, 2018 is gone. Time to pack those babies up and get jumping right into these babies. So anyway, if this has inspired you, share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plans through their 2019 planners. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you for watching her lovely plan. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video.